Hey guys, my name is Nick. In this video tutorial I will show you how to play a song called Without You by Juni. This is one of my favorite indie artists which created the awesome songs and this is one of them. Probably if you're watching this video tutorial you know this song. So this song is pretty simple. It's literally one riff song and I haven't created tops yet or chords for it because even sing you'll need it but you can check the description probably there is a link to ultimate guitar if i created them in the future and uh, i will show you a couple of ways how you can play the main riff so you will choose the best uh, or uh, the most favorite for you and also we will discuss structure and some techniques that you can play uh, use to play in this song and that's it let's listen for a small demo So, first thing first, let's discuss uh, how you can play the main riff. There are a couple of ways how you can do it, what features uh, you can add here, how to play it with your right hand, uh, some insight from me, and then let's discuss a structure, and this will be a really quick tutorial. <laughs> so let's start from the option when you don't have a capo. In this way. What you can do is uh, you can bar 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th string with your index finger and uh, to play the song like this. So the first part of the main riff is the bass line. The bass line will contain only 3 frets on the 1st, on the 4th string, 3rd, 1st and open 4th string. And so it will sound like this. you doing also uh, so this is the main part of the riff actually uh, but like a chord line if I can say so is these two notes on the first and on the second strings and they are not changing through the whole song and uh, so if you will combine all this stuff, it will sound like this. And this is the first option how you can play this riff. Also a little secret here is that I'm moving my index finger down and up when I'm playing different parts of the bass line because when you need to play an open D string of course you need to play open D string. You can't just bar in it with the index finger so I'm moving it down when I'm playing open D string and then moving it up when I need to play the first fret. Now if you don't uh, like to press in the strings with your index fingers through the whole song because it's a pretty long song, uh, you can also tune up first and second strings. And in this way uh, you will get the sound like you barren first and second strings and you will play just open first and second strings and you will need to just play this bass line. So this is a second option. Uh, the third one is that you can play the same thing, but you can tune down uh, the fourth string for one semitone. So you will play not third, first uh, fret and open, you will play third fret, first and then open but from the capo and you will already have first and second string strings in a needed position so the previous 
uh, option and this option they are pretty similar but this one is a little bit strange and a little bit more difficult because you, do, you need a cape or you need to tune down your four string so let's move further and my favorite option how to play this song is to play it like this So what I'm doing here, uh, the same main part here is uh, pressed on the 1st fret, 2nd and 1st strings and the root notes all are the same, i am just changed uh, the bass line a little bit, it sounds like this. And I'm playing open E string, low E string, 6th string which is uh, pressed by capo on the 1st fret then I'm playing 5th and 4th and again 5th fret on the 5th string and frets I'm counting from the capo and uh, this is a bass line the same note, nothing really have changed and to the main line, 1st and 2nd string I added the same note as the 2nd string but on the 3rd string and this trick will help you to add a little bit more volume to the song nothing really special but anyway it's a little bit better than this even if you can see a lot of differences and the whole riff will look like this One more option that we can discuss here is that in some parts of the song you can add like drum part. Uh, so when I'm playing the main riff I can also play um, clicks and it will look like this. So what I'm doing is when I'm hitting 6th or 5th string with my thumb, like this, I'm also hitting 1st, 2nd and 3rd string with nails. Not... Uh, I can't do it, it's like this, like I'm usually playing. It's like... it doesn't work like this. So when I'm doing this movement, when I'm rotating my hands and um, hitting the strings with my thumb, also hitting first, second, and sixth string uh, strings with my nails, so it sounds like this. Okay, it helps you to not skipping uh, one strum or like try it uh, and it helping you to play it when you're hitting the stream strings and when you're doing uh, a click so okay now we need to discuss the right hand because it's very important in this song so when you're playing like this for a few minutes two three or four this is not like a usual strumming pattern or usual finger picking pattern, it's really different. Because you're playing it pretty fast with a small amplitude and for example my hands in a minute or two are getting really tired of this. And there is a couple of ways how to avoid this. So the first way is to move your hand from the standard position to this position so your muscles on this part of arm will have a little rest while you're playing the song uh, kind of and the second way is to play it with uh, some pick I don't have one now but you can put on your thumb a thumb pick and you can change this way original one to this way like a strand pattern, small strand pattern, uh, with your index finger, and when you, while you're doing this movement, you can, uh, with your thumb and thumb pick, you can pick sixth and fifth strings as the notes that you need to play the bass line. So this is really important. I'm telling you, don't forget to do it like this, or if you want, you can do it in a standard position. Probably your hands 
or get used to this kind of plain type. Okay, and now let's discuss the structure of this song. There are a couple of things that uh, you can change while you're playing the song. The first one is clicking, we already discussed this. And the second one is uh, some kind of interludes. Uh, you can make borders between the parts. You can hear it in a song when you're playing it not like this. But like this. So I'm stuck on the fifth fret and I'm playing it a few times because this is some kind of interlude like border between the previous and the next part in the song. Okay and the last thing that you can add in the end of the song is that you can change the bass line from this this. You can add one extra note to the 6th string uh, when you're moving from 6th to 5th and when you move from 4th to 5th fret on the 5th string. Also you can add more notes, uh, create a different uh, bass line uh, just to make it more different, just to add some dynamic to the song. But literally this is the whole song and uh, just mixing these parts will be enough to play it well and this is a good example of the song with uh, one riff which sounds pretty nice and which is awesome. <laughs> so I hope you will choose uh, the option you like more and that you will enjoy while you're playing it. So, I hope you like this video tutorial and you can text your feedback in the comments, you can also text your ideas for songs that you want to play or know how to play and I will think, <laughs> maybe I will make a video tutorial for these songs. So, have a nice day and have a nice playing, hope to see you in the next video, goodbye!